Hi, everyone. I just wanted to take you through how I use uh, the oils and doTERRA oils throughout my day. So I'm going to start with a generally when I get up in the morning, I like to work out. But one thing I like to do um, when I'm working out is I like to use breathe. So I'm going to turn my camera around. I'm going to show you my little setup here. So this is my like kitchen area and I just have uh, my diffuser going right there right in the main area and actually I bought this little thing off of Amazon and it just houses all your oils it's just a nice pretty way of storing your oils so that's what I do so when I get up in the morning um so I'm gonna go work out and I want to use breathe so I'll get the breathe oops nothing like everything falling over because I'm moving things real fast but the breathe roll on I'll grab that right back here and I will roll that on my uh, chest area um, so that way when I'm working out I can breathe that in. I will also um, I like to grab the align or the arise so I will also smell them decide what day is the right oil for me and then I'll put a little dab on my wrist and then I'll breathe those in um, and then I go work out and whatnot. Now when I go and take my shower So when I go to take my shower, remember I talked about this before, one of our things uh, that Natalie and I talked about, I actually um, will take some oils, like usually peppermint is one of my favorite ones, like breathe, stuff like that. And I will actually just put a few drops right in my shower. I'll turn the shower on. Oops. I'll turn the shower on. And then while it's running, I'll just take my oils. And I'll just like drop a few oils in here. Um, the other thing while I'm in the shower too, the other thing is, is I actually use the doTERRA shampoo and conditioner. Um, and I really, really like that. So that's really awesome. I love that stuff. And then I also use the doTERRA soap. So that, well, I should probably turn the lights on, but um, that black one right in there. Okay, you can't see. Let me get some lights on. Um, this black one is the doTERRA balance and the one to the right of this just uh, goat's milk oil. I like uh, to do everything non-toxic. So I'm always trying to find things that are non-toxic to use. So I like the doTERRA soaps and I like the doTERRA shampoo and conditioner. Um, and then I also, I'm gonna show you kind of what I use for products around my face or for cleaning my skin, for helping with wrinkles, for helping with all that stuff. So I just probably turn some more lights on. So what I do is I also use the Rose and Immortel oils that we've talked about. And I roll them on before I put any makeup on or anything. Once my kid's skin is clean, I roll these on. I really like them. I really noticed that my, uh, so my fine lines are really starting to go away. Um, I also like to put on the brightening gel, so it kind of helps um, make your skin uh, more even toned and brightened. Um, and then I also use uh, the, well, yep, I use the On Guard toothpaste. I brush my teeth with that. I, I'm mean, trying to be as toxic free as I possibly can. I like the Virage line that they have, and this is washes, it cleanses and washes your face. It's amazing. And this is a little spray pump. You put, I put it in my hand and then I put it on my face. And then um, I put the Virage, the cream, the serum on that's kind of got a lot, some of that Immortal in it. And then the lotion. I really like that. That's part of my main daily thing. And I use this with these. And then at in the night, I also put some Yarrow Palm on to help with any other fine lines and other areas to help my skin. Um, and then for my hair, I also use a root to tip serum. Um, so I just put a couple pumps into my root. I massage it into my head and then I'll take some extra and I'll put it on the ends. I also use the Monet line for parts of my hair. I'm trying to keep as non-toxic as possible. So I'm trying to stay from toxins. Um, and then for my lotions and creams, I just take, um, I have the doTERRA hand body cream uh, lotion. I have their cream body butter, which is so nice. Plus I have their rose pan lotion. So I will take some oil like peppermint and lemon and sometimes deep blue or uh, some different oils, depending on what my objective is. Uh, mine is usually to kind of help with my varicose veins. So a lot of ones that I use, I'll put some drops in my hands. I'll take some cream or some lotion. I'll put it in there, mesh it up and put it on my legs. 
And then at night, I like to put the rose lotion on my hands. Sometimes I even put it on my face too. And then I always have my deep blue rub for when I need it. Um, and again, I'm using non-toxic products. So I like this for like my makeup stuff. Um, the Ilia brand, I went to uh, Sephora and just there, they have a little, um, like a little sticker on their makeup things that say if it's clean, so that doesn't have any toxins in it. So then I just know which ones I can pick from. Okay, so, um, so we got basically daily stuff like that. Then um, I use the oils. I'm always like every morning then afterwards, I will fill up my diffusers. I have a diffuser in my bedroom. I have a diffuser in my like main area, the kitchen area. We have a diffuser out in my workstation. Um, and I have a diffuser in my living room. And so I will, when it comes to picking out scents, I know sometimes that can be a little confusing and frustrating to figure out what oil. So sometimes I will think about what it is I want to create. Like, is there a certain mood or is there a certain energy or am I in the slump? Do I need to be energized? Do I need to be calmed down? Um, and then if I don't know what oil to go to, I do have a little book, which I don't know where it is right now. It's not really little, but I do have it at the office. You're always welcome to peruse through it, but it can go through and it can go through different oils and what you can use for different things. But then sometimes I'll just go out and I will just literally um, pick an oil that just smells like sometimes, um, oh, do I want balance today? So I'll pull it out and I'll smell it. And if it smells like nice and strong and ready for me, then that's what I'll use. If it's not, sometimes what you'll notice is that some oils feel stronger one day and less strong another day. Um, so I just learned to kind of go with the flow. Um, so uh, I'll just pick out different oils. So today I have Northern Escape with uh, the Sunny sunny Citrus. So um, it's kind of like uplifting, but grounding kind of smell that we have going on today. So again, it's sometimes I just put it together. You can take the caps off and blend them together, put it underneath your um, nose and see if they smell good together. You can always look up on Pinterest or anywhere else, um, even though to site and just get some different ideas on which blends you want to use. Uh, so my newest one I just got, it's Harvest Spice and Wild Orange. So I am uh, been messing with that and having that going at the office. So it's just kind of like it's getting to be that fall season. So I'm really excited for those. Um, and then when I'm getting ready to leave, I also use my perfumes or my oils. So I like Magnolia. Um, I just absolutely love it. So I'll just roll it on. Again, I smell these to figure out which smells are right for me. There's Whisper, which is great for women and hormones. Cheer if you need uplifting. I love Jasmine. Um, and sometimes if you're stuffed up or whatever, it's breathe. If, I, if it's my cycle time, I'll use a little bit of Clary Sage. I won't I'll put Clary Sage more like on my back or my stomach. Um, on guard, if I know I need to improve my immune system or to, you know, if I know there's a lot of sickness going around, which just has been lately, you kind of put a little bit on your feet, put a little bit on the back of your neck. So I'll do that. Sometimes I'll just pick out some different oils and just put them on my wrist. Um, and then... Other things you can do, remember, we've had the cooking class, so you can always do cooking with oils, right? Um, so you can use those in cooking. You can use them in smoothies. I also, before when I go to work out, I also like to take my water bottle and I fill it up with nice cold water and then I put a drop of lemon in it because one is a detoxer, but it also is really good and it's just it's just refreshing to have right away in the morning. And then usually I'll come up and make my lemon um, water with my ginger and stuff. Uh, I also like to use turmeric. Uh, sorry, I'd go to my cabinet where I keep all my spices because turmeric is in my spice cabinet. Anyways, um, so then like at night, I like to have my golden milk. Um, it's an anti-inflammatory drink and it really helps you sleep at night. Um, and you guys always hear me talk about bone broth. So guess what's going? Let's see if I can hit the right button. So my bone broth is going. Um, it cooked up. I just leave it in here for warm all day and I just scoop it out and put it in a glass and drink it throughout the day and evenings. Um, I have, sorry, that's a probably bad motion. I do have my glass over here with my bone broth. Oh, and then here we are. I also love their supplements. So this is the adaptive for stress. So I do take, I like taking this at night before bed. If I am just to be there. I'm not going to have a stressful day or something's going on or whatever. Then I'll take one during the day. I like this metabolic blend. I um, It's the version that they had of the oil, um, but they have it as a soft gel. So you can just take a couple of those and uh, it's got the oils right in the capsules. I'll show you. 
I don't know if you can see in there. I don't really have so many hands here. Um, but anyways, they're just, oops, now they go flying. So that's what they look like. Um, and they're just little soft gels and they're just pure oils in there. Um, sorry, now you're gonna see my floors. Uh, anyways, uh, so I take those. I also use, um, I love their doTERRA Lifelong Vitality Pack and I get it so that it's actually in the containers. So this has like your, uh, your omegas, it's got your uh, mega plex or microplex, like a vitamin. And then it also has like your alpha sierra. So stuff to help with like um, uh, helping with free radicals and helping your body with healing and staying young looking. And then I also, well, this is a lot of my other stuff that I use in the off that I use. I have a lot of different stuff for like thyroid and um, for stabilizing sugars and um, my antioxidants and stuff like that, my probiotics. And they also have probiotics, but I ran out and these are just way stronger. And sometimes I just need a stronger time. Uh, I like their Euro Palm. They also have this, they have it in the and that oil that I use on my face, but then this is also where you can take it inside. So it actually helps your, at the cellular levels to help your body be beautiful. Um, so bringing you back to me. So this is all stuff that I do daily uh, besides my shakes and all that fun stuff. So you're kind of getting an idea. I'm sorry, you're seeing my kitchen. That is a little bit, not perfect, but you know, life, life. I'm um, trying to think of anything else. So again, it's just like I use oils. I use it for my teeth. I use it for my hair. I use it for my skin. Um, any kind of mood I'm in, anything, I, I use it for cleaning. Um, so, sorry, I'm always hitting the phone. So I also use it for cleaning. They have uh, liquid dish soap here. Sometimes I keep this with filled with a little bit of water and this is a hand soap. Um, they also have the spray so you can clean your surface uh, sprays to clean. Um, so I use a lot of that to clean my hot and I love the smell of it. Um, besides that I use, I'll just take um, regular old baking soda, put it in a dish, put some water in there, and then I'll grab like tea tree, breathe, peppermint, and some random oils. And I'll just mix it all together and then I spread it all over my bathtub. Um, I also take, and I have, it's also with baking powder. So it's just a floor powder. So I just grabbed an old, um, you know, herbal thing, Bob. This was garlic powder, it was empty. So I took some baking powder and I put like some baking powder in here. And then um, I put like breathe and lavender and lemon and tea tree and some random different oils in here. And I just put it in here, shake it up. And I put, sprinkle this on the floor before I'm gonna vacuum 20 minutes prior and let it sit in there. So then everything smells really nice. You're cleaning and it's all clean and non-toxic. The other thing I use, um, cause again, I'm trying to be as non-toxic as possible. And again, if you ever take any of my programs and learn about more advanced things with me, you'll learn um, how important it is to stay away from toxins because of how much they can mess up your body. Um, so we're in the laundry room now, and I'm going to show you, I do use the laundry detergent from doTERRA. So this is the laundry pods, they're just, um, so good. they're just a little pod. I throw it in the shower, I mean the shower, <laughs> I throw it in the um, dishwasher, or dishwasher, oh my goodness, you know, the thing that washes your clothes. Um, I throw it in there and then I throw the clothes in there and then I wash my cycle. These are their dryer wool balls um, that you, they come in a packet of four. They come in like a little bag like this and obviously I don't store them in my bag. So then what you do and why you see spots on them is because I just take oils. So depending on what I've washed, I'll just take some different oils to put on here and then I throw them in the dryer and then they dry with it and they get the scent of the oils on your clothes. So that's a lot of what I do. I also have used um, oils for like when I'm mopping. So I've gotten, and I think they're broke actually at the moment, I'm not sure. So I have a, I have a mop in here, I'm just gonna sing around. And it's got a little container here that you can take off and you can fill with the On Guard uh, cleaning stuff with some water. And then you can just mop your floors with clean products or you can just use that because when you have dogs or anything else, it's like you don't want these toxins and going into them and you don't want them on you and you don't want them in your kids. So again, I try and be as toxic clean living as I possibly can. Um, so 
I think that's about all. I, I'm sure there's a lot more that I do and I will be doing, but don't don't plan, don't think that you have to get all this stuff right now. That's not what this is about. This is just about showing you over the course of years and me studying and doing things and discovering stuff. Um, I have slowly been adding into what I do and how I incorporate oils into my life. Um, the other thing is, is when you sign up to be a member, you're earning free credits. So all of a sudden you start earning, like you, you might get your own laundry detergent for free. Um, you might get your oils for free. You might get your hair care for free. You might get your skincare for free because as you purchase things, you earn credit and then you can just take that and turn around and get free product back. So, you know, if you go to the grocery store and you buy your stuff, you're not going to get any free product back. When you go and buy, purchase from a clean company like this, you get money back so that you can use it to buy more product. So just FYI. Anyways, I will add this into your call and I hope this helped you because I know many of you have had the question of how do I use it in my life? How do you use oils? Why do you use oils kind of stuff? We've kind of gone over a lot of that. This stuff is easy. It's clean. It's keeping me clean, non-toxic. It's helping me improve my life. Um, you know, kind of like, you know, back in the day, the an apple day keeps the doctor away. Well, the essential oil a day maybe keeps the doctor away too, right? Um, it's all about keeping yourself clean, being a supportive of your body, supporting yourself from the inside out. Okay. I'll talk to you later.